Hi ladies, so um, this is my update. Um, if you're new to my channel, um, I did suffer infertility with my um, almost six month old baby. Um, I suffered um, 25 months trying to conceive her um, and uh, I suffer and I suffered endometriosis, um, high prolactin, PCOS, and thyroid problems. Um, so this update, um, the last update I did was, um, I was so confused last cycle. Like I had um, bought um, Wanfo OPKs and they were all like horrible. So. I actually um, realized I had ordered those OPKs on a different um, from a different company on Amazon and not the regular company that I usually order from. Um, the regular company that I usually order from, I've used an, I used um, Wanfos since I started trying to conceive and I never had a problem. They were amazing. And if I am blessed enough to ovulate in a cycle, um, they do their job. Um, when um, Because of the PCOS, um, if some of you ladies don't know, you can have um, positive or close to positive dark OPKs um, for weeks on end before you start a cycle. Um, that's just the cause of um, the PCOS causing your LH to be higher in your system. And that's what would happen to me the 25 months that I was trying to conceive. Um, there were a couple of months in, this, in my um, the 25 months I was trying to conceive that I would get proper OPKs that would gradually go from... Um, light to medium to dark to positive and not just dark 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 close to positive to positive all the time and those are the months that I would ovulate so um, the previous month from last month I had a chemical at 10 dpo and then um, I ended up um, having a really wonky cycle last cycle so um, those in my last vlog, I'm not going to go too much in detail because it'll, this video will be forever. But so the OPKs I ordered from the wrong company and they were just all blotchy and different sizes and they were horrible. So, um, but anyways, I kept testing with them. I wasn't getting dark, dark OPKs all the time. I was just they were dye runs and whatnot. And then I thought, okay, you know what? I thought I had ovulated on um, cycle day 13 because um, I had kind of um, dark OPKs. They were dark and then they got lighter um, from the wan foes. And plus I had a little bit of um, um, wet CM and um, my cervix felt like it was starting to open a bit. Um, but when you've had a previous child, sometimes your cervix, um, will feel open a little bit throughout the month regardless. Um, so, um, anyways, I got, uh, the first response and I started testing and if I am blessed enough to ovulate in a cycle, I'll usually get, um, my surge on the 19th, the cycle day 19 or cycle day 20 and I'll ovulate on cycle day 20 to 21. Um, last cycle I ovulated on cycle, I got a, I bought the first response after I ran out of those crazy wan foes. I bought the first response, not the digital, just the line tests and um, I tested and tested and tested and then finally on cycle day um, 22 I got a blazing positive it probably is going to the test is going to be on the test update will probably be under this um video and um yeah I on 
from temps, I ended up, my temps kept going up and going up after that. So I did ovulate on cycle day 23. That's a little bit later than I ovulate when I do ovulate in a cycle. Um, so then I ended up getting my, my period, my AF on um, February 1st, cycle day one. So it correlates to my luteal phase and whatnot. So, um, yeah, so I ended up getting my AF the 1st of February. And then, like I said in previous um, videos, was um, the cycle that I conceived my daughter after 25 months, the 25th month I conceived her, um, I took soy isoflavines. If you don't know what soy isoflavines is, they act, um, don't mind the noise in the background, it's just my husband is talking loud. Um, if you don't know what soy isoflavines are, they're basically like a natural clomid, and you'll take them, um, if you take 50 milligram of um, clomid, you would take double what you would take, but use discretion if you do use them, because what works for me may not work for you, and what works for you may not work for me, but they worked amazingly for me the month that I conceived, so I was on metformin, um, a thousand milligram, um, for three months prior to, I, to me conceiving my almost six month old, so, um, it was the third month on metformin, and then I tried everything, like ladies, ex the only thing I didn't try was IVF, and um, we were pretty darn close to trying that. Um, my doctor was going to put me on Clomid the month before I conceived, and I ended up conceiving the month before, and that was an, an induced um, cycle. I hadn't had a cycle in... Um, pretty darn long time um so maybe hitting 100 days or um 70 to 100 days i think um so that was an induced cycle and it was the third month of metformin and i took the soy isoflavins 100 milligram cycle day three four five six and seven and i took those soy isoflavins and I don't get any um, EWCM those whole 25 months of 24 months of trying to conceive. The month I took the soy, I actually conceived that month. I'm thinking that it was the soy um, and the help of the metformin, but I think what really pushed me to ovulate a strong ovulation and conceive was those soy isoflavines and that month I say in previous um, videos that I had an abundance of EWCM so five days leading up to um, um, ovulation I had so much EWCM that TMI I could go to the washroom put my hand under my my you know what and it would fall in there like fill my hand up that's how much it was just like the consistency and as much as if you would take an egg and crack it and that amount of the amount of egg whites in the egg that's what was the amount I was getting and then I conceived my daughter and um so I wanted to try the a cycle or two um without any medication. So um, this month I started on um, the metformin. Um, I started off at 500 milligram for a week and then um, I gradually worked myself up to a thousand milligram. I am on a thousand. 500 does not give me no, no side effects, no symptoms at all. Um, if anything, it makes me um, feel a little better um, when I hit the thousand mark that's when I start feeling I don't have TMI diarrhea 
or stomach pains I just have um, basically I have nausea and a bad taste in my mouth and a little bit dizzy um, the soy isoflavins I had no side effects whatsoever um, some people say they get like hot flashes and whatnot maybe I'm the lucky one but I did not get um, no side effects whatever no headaches no nothing so um, I'm cycled day 12 today and um, still waiting on ovulation so um, I'll update you ladies on how things are going I have not did a live OPK but my OPKs with the grace of God have been going light and then they're gradually I can see them teeny bit by teeny bit I started testing on cycle day 8 and I can see them teeny 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 bit um, going um, uh, darker but nothing compared to being positive yet um, I know I said last cycle I was going to do um, a live pregnancy test but um, I actually took a test and I didn't, I just had a feeling I wasn't pregnant and um, last month and I took a test and um, at 9 DPO and it was negative and I was just so bummed to do an up update and whatnot. So um, I'll update you and let you know if the soy with the metformin worked this month, this cycle, and um, to my godson's mother, my very um, good friend who is considered just like my sister, um, I sent the package out today to you. And I know you're going to be the first one that probably watches this. So I'll update you guys all, and um, happy Valentine's Day um, for tomorrow. And um, baby dust to everybody. And I hope you come along this trying to conceive journey with me. And um, if you want to know more about soy isoflavings, I can do, you can leave a comment below. Subscribe if you, you like this video. Thumbs up. And if you want, I can do, I know so much on the soy and what days to take them and whatnot. I can do a, a, a vlog just for the soy isoflavins um and um yeah and um i'll update you ladies so cycle day 12 i'll be keeping you updated okay take care and have a happy valentine's day bye